92, the wheel. 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. And 101, 102, 103, 104, oh, I forgot. and 100 and... No, Lick. Hey, come on. Tom Tom has promised to give me a ride outside on his bicycle. I gotta get going. Lucky you. I'd love to ride on a bike. Yeah, it would be a lot of fun. You're not allowed to go. Why can't we? Tom Thomas isn't your friend, all right? He only invited me. If you want to take a ride on a bicycle, then go find your own human friend to invite you. Well, Tom Thomas, you ready to go? We can't. There's no way we can ride this. The tire's got a hole. I try to fill it, but the air comes out. Well, then what should we do? I thought you'd know what. You're the fixie here. We, I mean, I didn't study it yet. Hang on! Pula, did you? Wait a sec. We found a hole in one of the tires of the bicycle. Hmm. You mean the one that only gives rides to friends? Don't be like that. Please help me out. I thought Tom Thomas was only a friend of yours. Uh, why don't you go and ask him yourself? He could be your friend, too. <laughs> For thousands of years, wheels have been helping people all over the world. The wheel's ancestor is a lock. People would put logs under heavy loads to move them. Then people came up with the idea of slicing the log and connecting the slices with an axle. And there it was, the wheel. Wheels made life more convenient. Later came wheels with spokes, metal rims, and rubber tires. Soon people were wheeling around the world in and on all sorts of vehicles. Potters, mills, clocks. There are just so many different uses for a wheel. And with the steam train, steamboat, and cars, wheels spread all over the world. They even reached the planet Mars. The wheel really is one of the simplest and yet most amazing of all human inventions. Whew, it's off. So what's next? Now you take out the inner tube. You mean this rubber thing? Yeah, that's your inner tube. There's a hole there somewhere. Pump it up, Tom Thomas. Then we can see where the air is coming out. <laughs> that's not a good way to find the hole, Nolik. Why is it good? Because the hole might be really tiny. Then how do you find it? To find it, we need water. How come? Yeah, how come? Now I get why we need water. There, see those tiny bubbles? Yeah, do you see them? That's the air from inside of the tube. That means the hole is right there. Nolik, you're a genius. Hooray, here's the hole I found, look. Will you let me put on the glue? In my pack -a mat I have just the right kind for this. The hole is right here, right where I found it. But first, we have to make sure that the rubber is dry. Looks like it's dry. Then let's put the glue on. It's all fixed. Finish! All right, it's ready to go. Hooray! Digit Tula, you coming with us? I don't know. We weren't invited. I'm sure he'll invite you. Right, Tom Thomas? Of course I will. We're friends, aren't we?
vitamins. Seven times five is 35. Seven times six, um, uh, wait a sec, uh, it's, uh... Tom Thomas, are you ready? For what? For our walk. Did you forget? Oh, yeah. I'm having such problems with my memory. I keep trying to memorize this table, but I can't. <laughs> if you want to improve your memory, you need vitamins. Vitamins? Well, how's it going, Tom Thomas? Not well. My memory's just terrible. Studying's getting me nowhere. Hey, don't be discouraged. We'll make your memory better with some vitamins. Oh, now you about vitamins. Uh, and who else? Just a school friend. Well, all right. Vitamins are very important for people's health, even though you don't need much of them. For instance, vitamin A is necessary for good eyesight and normal growth. Vitamin C helps keep you from getting sick. Vitamin D makes your teeth and bones stronger. Usually, people get the vitamins they require from a diet of fruits, dairy, vegetables, and other healthy foods. But if someone still isn't getting the vitamins their body needs, then doctors recommend taking special vitamin pills. All right. Take out some vegetables and some fruit. And some berries. They have a lot of vitamins, too. Forget about it. We're strengthening your memory with vitamins. And you'll study the multiplication table at the same time. All right, then. There are three cherries in each pile. Tom Thomas eats five piles. Go on, eat, eat. So... Here's the question. How many cherries did Tom Thomas eat all together? I don't know. What'd you say? <gasps> I said I don't know. Try counting those pits then. <laughs> huh. Fifteen. That's right. And that means that three times five equals fifteen. Now, try my problem. Tom Thomas ate three pairs of apples. That's easy. The answer's six. I just couldn't find more apples for that one. Tom Thomas quit slacking off. To get this problem right, you have to eat the apples. They have vitamins. Anyhow, we don't have enough carrots for me to learn how to multiply by nine. All right, then. I'll help you. To multiply two by three, all you need to do is just add three twos together. It's much harder to multiply a number by nine. That takes too much time to add. That's why at schools they want you to memorize the table. But there's a simple way to multiply by nine without the table or a calculator. Let's say you need to multiply the number three by nine. Put your hands face up in front of you. Now, find the third finger from the left and bend it down. So what do we see? There are two fingers to the left of the bent finger and seven fingers to the right. Two and seven means that the answer is 27. You got it? Great! Let's do another problem. What is seven times nine? Here are six fingers and here are three. That's right! The answer is 63. <laughs> Thomas, did you eat all of that? But you're the one that told me you need to eat vitamins. That's why I got these vitamins for you. That little? What do you mean, little? There's enough in this bottle for a month. Go ahead, try one. They're very good for you. They taste good, too. <laughs> right. Better than an onion. <laughs> or a radish. <laughs> Can I have another one? No, that's enough. You shouldn't take more than one vitamin every day. I remember where I saw this. I saw the same kind of bottle with a green lid over at Katya's. Speaking of memory, let's check your multiplication table. Let's say that you and Katya 
are each taking one vitamin a day. So, how many have you eaten after nine days? The answer's 18. <laughs> well done. It's getting better. Vitamins really work. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out.